in today's world, we have many improvements on a physical, external level. And these improve improvements sometimes can bring people more happiness, sometimes it can bring them more stress. It's how we use these improvements and how we go about and how we view these improvements. Most things in life, I feel, is a matter of perspective. How you look at something, how you examine something, and how you react to something. Because one object can be reacted differently by many people according to their backgrounds. Each person's experience is, of course, unique and special and should be respected. In today's world, where we have so many different cultures and backgrounds and people converging and becoming closer and becoming connected and understanding um, each other more has become very vital. So when we understand each other and we accept each other and we see differences as a blessing and we see differences as a plus point, then all of us get along, all of us communicate and cooperate much, much better. No matter how the world improves or how the world advances in technology, the basic human needs of love, respect, care, security, is always a necessity. No matter who we are, no matter how we are, no matter where we come from or who we believe ourselves to be, we all need love, respect, etc. So therefore, in today's world, where barriers are shrinking, it is very important that we understand each other. It's very important that we investigate and we understand and we learn about each other. And when we learn about each other, we have more mutual cooperation. We have more mutual understanding. And from mutual cooperation, understanding comes mutual respect and a genuine concern for the other person. Today is a very powerful day for those who are hungry on the streets in Penang. I am sure our Malaysian government, federal and both state, do their best to help every single citizen. But sometimes, some people still get left behind. And so, I am very happy that today KSK, irregardless of our background and our upbringing and our culture and even our religion, we can get together to do something very good, to take care of basic fundamental need of a human being, which is to eat, to have a full stomach. So today, KSK opening up is a victory for all of us simple people like myself and ordinary citizens and ordinary people like myself to reach out and do something. We're not reaching out to send a message to the government or to be affiliated uh, to any organizations. We're simply reaching out from our heart to say that we care, we'd like to do something, and we like to be a benefit to others. When I was very, very young, and I left home early to pursue what I wanted to do in life, I was hungry. I slept outside. I begged for food. And I had a very difficult time um, taking care of myself at that time because I was very young, 15 at, the, at, the, at that age. And um, I experienced what it was like to be on the streets asking for food in the United States and being looked down upon, uh, being shooed away and, and uh, being generally looked at as someone that people wanted to avoid. And I felt the humiliation and the shame and the pain just like everybody else. So many years on, I've always wanted to have a place for people who are hungry, for the homeless, a place, a soup kitchen where people can get a hot meal. I've always wanted that. This always has been my dream. 
And I started something like that with my wonderful friends in Kuala Lumpur. And it has taken off and it's doing very well and it has support from many organizations. And I'm very, very happy about that. Now it's branched off into Penang. It's opening in Penang on this day. And our Penang branch will be the same as our Kuala Lumpur branch where we don't care where you come from. We don't care who you are. We don't care what background, what religion, what culture, what race. We don't care. But what we care is that you contribute to help those. And those we help also, it doesn't matter where they come from, what background, what's their culture, what race. It doesn't matter. Hunger has no barriers. Hunger is a message to those of us who can do something, to reach out and do something. I'm very, very pleased with the branch opening up in Penang today. I offer my prayers and my felicitations. And I offer my sincere, heartfelt thanks to my good friend, Patsy Lim, who I've met over a decade and a half ago, and who has been a, a very good friend, a caring person, and a wonderful individual. And I thank her so much for taking charge of this branch of Kichara Soup Kitchen, or KSK. And I also thank her family and friends, who without their support, she would not be able to do this. I sincerely thank them from my heart. And I would like to thank all of our esteemed guests, friends, and supporters for coming today to our grand opening to celebrate helping others, to celebrate reaching out, to celebrate benefiting others. And I would like to especially fold my hands from my heart and thank the Chief Minister of Penang, Mr. Lim Guang Eng, for gracing this occasion, for giving us your support and giving us your advice and giving us your precious presence on this special occasion to help us celebrate what we wish to do in Penang. And what we wish to do in Penang is to be a benefit to society, to give to society, and to encourage those who can give to society to help society. I thank the Chief Minister from my heart. I thank Patsy from my heart, supporters, friends, and all that have gathered. I am not in town. I am not in the country at this time. So therefore, I'm sending this message the IA video. Thank you very much and congratulations. May it grow further, make many more chapters continue to manifest. Thank you.